Hey there everybody, it's your favorite OG, probably your only OG, back with some more KSP2 content. I've been practicing, I got quite a lot of practice in this morning, and I had some success. I built an SSTO, and to be honest, it wasn't really an SSTO, it was an SSTN because it was a single stage to nowhere because I only got it to about 20,000 meters. But it worked and it didn't really crash it sort of crashed a little bit a wing fell off but it made a safe landing and the Kerbal walked away and I I visited the the secondary little landing strip offshore just off the Kerbal Space Center to the east that little island I didn't quite make it to the runway though And then I actually made it to the moon. Not just made it, but landed. And unlike the glitch I encountered earlier, the, the moon wasn't completely dark. I did encounter staging issues and I encountered a lot of issues. So many that the first mission actually aborted. But the second mission was quite successful. And not only did I make it to the moon, I made it back. In my two-stage rocket, the one I built the other day that failed so miserably, I'll try to remember to post the link to the video, but that little rocket made it back.
I uh, made it back from the moon and I uh, had to orbit Kerbin many, many times to get enough aero braking to actually make a landing. Uh, I had an idea for a mission and that's what we're going to do today. I want to go to lathe. Seeing as there's no atmospheric heating, I figure we can get there cheaply because I can just let the atmosphere do all the braking if I can get a really, really, really close intercept. So that's the plan. Go to lathe. And I'm going to build a rocket. And I'm going to do that. As you shall see. Or not. I've never been past the moon. And most of my rockets fail. So, who knows? I think that's it. Let's go to lathe. I haven't looked at transfer windows at all. I haven't even checked my thrust to weight. Let's find out. Looking good. We're going up. Oh, I didn't pack RCS RCS thrusters. Oops. Sonic, I'm going to start the gravity turn. this is going to end now.
I need to find a trajectory which will take me to Jewel. And from there to Lathe. Looks like I'm going to have to do some time warping. Looks like I'm going to have to raise my orbit so that I can time warp faster so that I can go to Jewel. that burn was not textbook it didn't help that I forgot to lock the heading in but it's okay it's sort of what I wanted and we'll take it from here I think I have a pretty decent chance of intercepting Jewel I, I think that's what these symbols mean the intercept thing is not well sorted yet. It really sucks that I didn't bring RCS thrusters. It's making my life quite difficult. But fortunately, a burn like this, the timing is not very important. There's a huge margin for error. It's, it's just all the burning the wrong way while you're maneuvering. That's the problem. Hopefully that doesn't throw my trajectory off too much. Staging problems are back. Not now, guys, not now. Ha 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 ha, I broke free. Good old time warp. I still have these nightmares of KSP1 where I went to visit Jewel and I arrived the wrong way and I ended up orbiting in the opposite direction to the moons. 
That made landings tricky. For now, I need to get an orbit around Jewel, and then I need to try to get an orbit around Lathe, and then. No, I don't want to orbit. I want to aero break. I want to get close to the surface and you see how much braking I can do in the atmosphere. Should be fun. many many bugs and glitches ksp2 is extraordinarily beautiful now i have to do something because uh, Val is about to send me off on a tangent. I have run out of fuel. So this stage will just have to stay in. It'll have to be a comms relay. We're not crossing the orbits of any moons, so it shouldn't ever fall to one of them. Just in case I'll arm the chutes. Goodbye, stage. Lathe should get a little closer to me on every orbit. Ah, let it go too far. And again. Interesting stuff has happened. Lathe has grabbed me. Not the booster yet, but uh, good thing I enabled those shoots. It looks like it might be coming down sometime as well. It definitely passes through the SOI. Hello, Lathe. Long time no see. Actually, Lathe has a lot of sea. Sorry, bad joke. Time to check that arrow breaking. Now I know that heat isn't a factor, but I'm worried that the physical stresses of the braking might be. Could get interesting. The atmosphere of lathe in KSP-1 went out to about a hundred kilometers. So I'm going to aim for... 2,748 meters. Oh yeah. 
Where is that? I'll try this first one with my little rocket intact. Why does it look detached? Never mind. Whatever. Here we go. I'm pretty sure these things are still attached. It just looks like they're detached. Oh, and this is all taking place in brilliant sunshine. Wonderful. Normally I don't have that sort of luck. Like my moon landing the other day. Even in brilliant sunshine, it was pitch black. I'm not going to forgive them for that, not for a while. My very first moon landing attempt got messed up. We're slowing down a lot. We have aero braked very well. We will not be leaving the atmosphere again. Now that brings me to the next problem. I'm going to crash now. I need to do something about that. Oh. My... Where's my parachute? Why is my parachute inside? How did it get inside? The important thing is that it still works. Can't be much space in that cavern. There's a parachute in there instead of a Kerbal. Ooh, will this be a seed landing or a water landing? Looks like water. I'm going to try and push it a bit. Just what you should do when landing on an alien world. Deploy at the last second. I think I'll push my parachute out a bit. I might be able to swim ashore from here. Oh. Why is the water looking like Minecraft suddenly? What a noisy parachute. That is some weird looking water. Screenshot for the devs. <laughs> Your water is broken. I'm a submarine. That's fine. I am actually a submariner, so I'm quite at home here. Oh yeah, I've got a bionic Kerbal here. Look at him swim. I don't even know which Kerbal I brought. Slow down. I sense a flag planting moment. Well done, Kerbal 
of indeterminate gender. Who who are you? The Kerbals have Lan did. What a wonderfully politically correct Kerbal this is. I have an androgynous Kerbal. My Kerbal doesn't want to move. Oh, time warp. No, my Kerbal still doesn't want to move. Reloaded, and there we go. Welcome to Lathe, home of this Kerbal and no one else. Well, that's just weird. The important thing is that I made it. I finally passed a, a mission which involved flying somewhere. To date my only flying mission, my only flying missions have been failures. The only mission I passed was the 175 booters, boosters crashing the frame rate mission. And now I'm on lathe. I am walking on the surface of the land on lathe. I have swum on lathe. I have landed safely on lathe. I have seen the hovering rock of lathe. Awesome. Oh dear. Well, that's just embarrassing. Oh, but I'm dancing. Thank you for joining me on lathe. I hope to see you again soon on lathe. OG out from the surface of lathe.